Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have a new project to share with you. And uh, I'm, I made one more grunge or uh, yeah, vintage industrial uh, thing to go with my other grunge uh, things I made. So, but uh, if you haven't seen those videos I will do a bit explaining here as well. So, um, yeah, this is uh, Tim Holt's uh, new clock that came out uh, this uh, winter and uh, it was uh, silver and I used some rust medium on it and also some painting and distressing and so it looks really old. So for the papers I used for this is um, Tim Holt's uh, French Industrial, hope it shows up here. And it's uh, the new papers. So inside here is also a mini album on the back, so I'll show you that later. But um, yeah, we can start inside here. Oh, sorry for the glare here. You maybe can see the paper, some old men with hats and so. And uh, the numbers inside here, that was uh, silver, so I went over with uh, black and uh, the silver dapper and uh, also some uh, rub-ons, metallic rub-ons so I used uh, many different techniques here and for the picture in the back here it's um, uh, I used a crackle accent over it so and um, for this uh, rusty here I used these mediums it's idea patina and this I got from Linda at Livart now. So she bought them here in Norway for me. So thank you so much Linda. I really had a lot of fun using this. So, but uh, she said uh, she had seen them in uh, uh, other online stores as well. So you probably can get them all over. And um, there is one uh, that uh, you take on first and I painted the clock uh, black first and then went over with this and it's magnetic so then I put this uh, rust uh, medium on and this white to seal it so that's that and um, here I have some different uh, cogs and gears and so and a spinner here and I also used the rust on many of these and some clock parts and some uh, gears from uh, a dice from Tim Holtz and uh, also have a chain inside here that I did the same with it was also silver and I painted it black and went over with the mediums and on the top here it's a little light bulb and I colored the glass in and that's uh, if you take crackle accent on first then it's much more easy to color it with uh, different inks and so and here it says uh, time and it's a little arrow here and it's a chain going on around here so and here is a clock that I rusted and a keyhole here no clock I say uh, I meant the key so yeah and this is also crackle accent here and uh, for this uh, wings here it's uh, from the lo love stock die and I copied it up so they became large and I have some gears here and it's um, distressed uh, with uh, different metallics and embossed with uh, I think it's an industrial embossing folder from Tim Holtz so yeah and on the top here some gears on the top here as well and uh, back behind here so then we can turn it around and here I made a horse, horse uh, shoe so and did the same uh, rusty technique here and some gears behind and a chain I glued around here so here's a clock key that's dangling down on the side here so hope I was in frame here so here you can see it so now I will show you the mini album inside here so it opens with this I think I need to 
help it a bit here. So here is uh, the mini album and it uh, also took some paper on the inside here. So take that out and here you can see the clock. It's a working clock that's in here. So this is just uh, fastened with a repositional tape so I can change the battery here. So. And um, here, um, this album uh, is a four inch over in diameter here. So I used a new, new uh, booklet here to close it. This is a leather. So here is a little tag inside. It's a hand here that I embossed and took some twine around. And um, here are some gears that I embossed and also rusted and some ball chain around here. And also cut out small chipboard pieces and glued around. And this idea I got from Linda. So thank you so much Linda for that idea. So, and it's uh, bounded, I can show you on the back, around here. And I punched hold here with uh, my crocodile. Um, punched man many holes and filed it down so I could get this for the binding here. So, this is not supposed to be here, it's a magnet. <laughs> so, but we can show you the inside first here. So, here's the first page and uh, it's only four pages here because it didn't fit, uh, wasn't room for any more. So here is a tag and uh, with a gear here that's embossed and uh, also some gears here and this is uh, from Spellbinders and this is Tim Holtz. So this goes inside like so. And here is another place for some photo and this is a stamp from Tim Holtz. Like so on the back and here it says live the la life you imagined and some gears from Tim Holtz die here that also have been embossed, dry embossed and uh, went over with the uh, different metallics. So here's the next page and here's um, movers and shapers uh, pocket watch die and inside here was a robon clock. So and a little tag inside here. And here it says life moments like so. And on this side it's uh, the spellbinders die here and uh, this is fastened with a magnet so you can put a picture inside here and here and do some journaling. So. For the next page here, it's a film strip die. It's a new die that's a bit uh, smaller. And this um, is a magnet arrow, and it holds uh, two tags, like so. And uh, this opens with a magnet here. And you can place a photo or anything. So this goes inside here. And uh, for the last uh, page here, and these are also movers and shapers die. So, and it's a crackle accent on this side here. And uh, here I just cut out the middle of um, of uh, this die here, and uh, it's a clock key die here. So place for a photo here. And I have some different gears here. So this goes in here, and here is the last page again. So you just put in a tag with a moustache, and that's also a movers and shapers tie. So you can do some journaling or put a small photo inside. So it's just for fun. So that was uh, my last <laughs> grunge project for now. 
so thank you so much for watching and uh, also want to thank you all for your sweet and kind comments uh, I really do appreciate it so take care bye bye